Good evening, everybody. Are you there, people? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Carla. How's everything? Hi. You're always early, Carla. Hello, uh, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. All right. How's how's everything, people? How's life treating you? I hope you have had a good day. Está muy caliente, teacher. Ah, really? Yeah, it's right there. Horrible, horrible. No he oído por esa zona. Nothing. No, ahorita no. Oh, like neither here, man. Uh, it, it has like, let me see, like four days without raining. Yeah, like four days that has no rain over here. But probably, probably today it's going to rain. It looks like it's going to be probably. later. Probably later, but let's see what's up. All right, so. So let's see what's going on in the future. Uh, good evening, Michelle. Now you got good connection, good internet connection. Michelle? Are you there, Michelle? I am, and I think, I think she's there. But I don't know if she got problems with the internet. Carlos, everything is, is, is okay with the internet today? Chavez or Gamero? Ana, men, Gamero. Gamero, Ana, men, both of you, actually both of you. De hecho, los dos, los dos tuvieron problemas de conexión ayer. Bueno, usted, eh, Chávez, lo sacaba de conexión. Y Gamero como que se quedaba frisado sometimes. You're right, teacher. Este, vi también el mensaje que usted puso ayer de que que faltaba una oración, dijo que no hicimos. Ah, uh, no, I mean, some of you didn't finish the, the homeworks. And uh, also the midterm, no, lo había puesto porque habían algunos que no terminaron la, el midterm y recuerden, eso les he venido repitiendo desde la semana no, pasada. No, 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 no. It was for, it was, it was for, for, for yesterday, so that's why I, uh, I was telling you, like, to do it, because, and even though there are some people that have not finished uh, doing the, the test and it's really important for you guys remember uh, we have already finished the week number two so we're starting week number three today and it's important for you to finish the previous homework so try to, to, to put it on time right try to do it on time so let's start over with the things that we got for tonight uh, since today we are starting a new unit we're going to be uh, discussing some other structures and just to start that structure, let's pass the attendance list, okay? Let's see, uh, Andres Joel. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, not here. Mm, Carlos Mauricio. Present teacher. All right, nice. Cindy Melanie. Not here. Uh, Stephanie Mitchell. Mm, Michelle, I think you got problems with the audio because I don't listen. listen. Hola, aquí estoy. Ah, okay, now I listen to you. No le escucho. Okay, pero yo sí le escucho a usted. Present. Okay, cool. Ivania Jamilet. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, cool. One second. This one. Uh, Jacqueline Patricia. No, she's not here. Uh, Joanna Saray. Teacher, Hello. Joanna posiblemente no esté hoy y mañana porque está ingresada. Le toca tratamiento este fin de semana. Ah, sí, de hecho, bueno, me acaba de enviar mensaje. Okay. Thank you, Raquel. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, Jorge Alberto. Okay, it's not here. Uh, Jose Edgar. This is a lot of people that are not here. Juan Emanuel. Neither Juan. Julio Cesar. Present. Ah, okay, cool. 
care Beatriz? Present. Okay, cool. Let's move. Carla Lisette? Present. All right, nice. Raquel Stephanie? Here. Okay, very nice. Veronica Areli? Present. Okay, nice. Wendy Jamilet? All right, guys, not here. Uh, William Ernesto? Uh, okay, William. I read your message. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth? Present. Ah, okay, nice. Let me see. Mm, Carlos Josue? Present teacher. Okay, nice. And the last one, Reynaldo Chavez. It's just not here, apparently. Okay, people. So as I said, we're going to start with the new topics that we're going to have for uh, tonight. And basically the whole week, we're going to be talking about something completely different. Just give me one second. I'm going to open up the presentation that we're going to have for tonight. Today, we're going to have two structures that we are going to be practicing. Well, let me see. I'm going to put them on in the presentation. So just give me one second. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so this is going to be the presentation that we're going to be discussing tonight. All right, let's remember this is the video conference number 11. So basically, we are starting, uh, you know, week number three. Uh, and tonight's topic is going to be how to use, listen up, could you and would you mind? Right. So in that case, those are the structures that we're going to be practicing uh, tonight. Both of them are just to ask questions in a very polite way. All right. So that's the one that we are going to be talking and discussing and create an example and short conversations. Right. All right. In that case. The whole class. All right the whole class. So let's just start over. What are we going to have like the class agenda, the most remarkable things? We're going to make a review from the previous class. Uh, probably this is not given because yesterday we were doing a general feedback. Uh, then we're going to have the introduction to the uses of could you and would you mind after doing that. We're going to have some short conversations related to that, that we are going to create those short conversations. And then we're going to do some exercises in the manual related to the structure, of course. And that's pretty much what we are going to be doing. So basically, this is like not that hard for you guys uh, to do. I know we're going to do uh, a good job with this, with this topics. So let's start over. All right, look at this. Let's start over with this. Cool angle light. This is the first thing that we're going to be discussing. Listen up, the uses of cool and will like. Look at this. It says, we use cool and would you mind, right? This is the main structure, okay? Would you mind to ask polite requests? It says, polite request. What is a polite request? Basicamente, estamos hablando de una polite request es cuando hacemos solicitudes, okay? O peticiones, por así decirlo de manera educada o de manera cortés, por así decirlo. That's what it talks about, right? That is a polite request. Something that is very educated when you ask for. Examples, check this out. Could you open the door? By the way, have you ever heard about the uses of cool? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado esta estructura de cool? ¿Alguna vez lo habían escuchado? ¿Anyone? Sí, sí. Cool. Yes or no? I don't understand that much. Yo creo que sí, si te podrías, algo así. Ah, ok, A cool. All right, basically, yeah, cool is like podría. Cool viene siendo la forma pasada del, del verbo 
uh, model can, right? In a somehow. So cool in este caso significa como podría. There you go. So in this case, check this series of examples, uh, questions that we're going to be discussing. It says, could you open the door? Look at this. It's like, podrías abrir la puerta? Okay. Check the ways of answers that we can provide to this type of a structure. Sure, it says. Listen, sure, that's one way of answer to this question. Yes, of course, that's another one, right? Yes, of course, that is another way of answer for that type of questions. Check this one. Would you mind opening the door? If you take a look at the structure, it's completely different, but the same meaning in, you know, like, like uh, in context with this. It says right away or in a minute. Right away or in a minute. So what does it mean? It means that these examples that are over there with different structures, they mean exactly the same. Básicamente tenemos dos estructuras gramaticales completamente diferentes en este caso, pero en significado vienen siendo lo mismo. All right? Casi viene siendo lo mismo. Yo había escuchado la palabra Gul como te gustaría. Eso es, te gustaría, es cuando ya ponemos would you like, Ajá. ya con el verbo like. Mm, en ese caso sería un auxiliar nada más. Ya, yeah, listen, tanto cool como would son verbos auxiliares. Están dentro de una categoría que se les llama modal verbs. All right, listen, se les conoce así como modal verbs. ¿Qué significa un modal verb? Son ciertos verbos especiales que nos sirven para determinados propósitos cuando nosotros creamos preguntas o hacemos oraciones por sí, por, por sí mismas. Listen up. Estos verbos nunca, listen, nunca, nunca van solos en una oración. Siempre tienen que ir acompañados de otro verbo adicional para ellos tener significado. ¿Ok? Para ellos tener significado. Estos verbos nunca van solos dentro de una oración. All right. Y ustedes se preguntarán, ¿cuáles son esos verbos modales? Ok. Listen. Los verbos modales básicamente eh, son estos. Tenemos can, could, may, let's check this out, good, Must, will, shall, of to, and have, or has to. Estos son los más comunes, right? Eh, por así decirlo. These are like the most common ones. Todos estos verbos, todos. Eh, básicamente necesitan de un verbo principal para poder tener eh, significado dentro de una oración. All of them. They need an outside. Uh, an... In this case, it's like the main verb. Porque ellos son verbos auxiliares. Ellos no pueden actuar como un verbo principal. So they become into an auxiliary verb just to have sense into questions. All right. So en este caso... Si ven acá la estructura que tenemos en las oraciones, acá en las, en, y en las, básicamente en las preguntas, look at this. We got the structure over here. We have the, the, the model verb, but in here, over here, you have the main verb. Pero acá, ustedes tienen el verbo principal, ok? The one that indicates the action. Este es el verbo principal que indica la acción, all right? Si ven eh, verbos, por ejemplo, como can, modal verb can, siempre vamos a utilizar otro verbo que actúe como verbo principal 
en oraciones con can. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, I can cook, puedo cocinar. I can uh, drive, I can swim, I can eat. So you see, siempre van acompañados de otro verbo. Si no, no pueden ir dentro de una oración. Right? Y cada uno, como les mencionaba, sirve para una función específica. En el caso de can es para dar habilidad. Eh, para a demostrar una habilidad, right? In positive statements. Ahora bien, nos vamos a enfocar en los usos ahora nada más de cool and will. Cool and will vienen siendo casi similares, solo que cool es eso de podría, ¿ok? Y would, would es a little bit different in comparison to the translation because in that case es cuando le agregamos ese ia al verbo principal, right? Would you mind? Mind viene siendo también un verbo, solo que acá lo tenemos en una estructura en sí. Aquí no simplemente iba would, sino toda la frase, would you mind? So acá es lo como, ¿te importaría? En forma de pregunta. Would you mind opening the door? ¿Te importaría abrir la puerta? So you see, en este caso ya vamos a ver la estructura con un poco más de detenimiento de por qué acá el verbo open va con ing y en esta otra el verbo open va en forma base. So we're going to be explaining that part. Vamos a explicar eh, esa parte, ¿ok? Because in here, todo esto, todo esto es una sola, una sola estructura, ¿ok? If you take a look at the answers, si ven las respuestas que tiene cada una de estas preguntas, no son como las yes and no questions que por lo general solemos poner en otras estructuras. All right. So that's something that I'm going to explain a little bit later. So you have an idea why I am writing this type of a structure. Just give me one second, people. Jesus, we got a lot of people that doesn't have. We got problems with the internet. Whose person is this? Okay. Okay, I have a question. Uh, hi, Manuel. Uh, would you mind is polite and could you open is not polite? Be... Actually, actually, both of them are polite. De hecho, las dos. Ambas son consideradas polite, right? Son consideradas formales, por así decirlo. Tanto could you como would you mind, ambas estructuras son, son, son uh, a comparación de otras, son formales. We can call them polite, all right? Because in this case, we're going to use both of them. En este caso, en esta, en esta videoconferencia, simplemente las vamos a utilizar como polite request, como solicitudes formales para algo, ¿ok? Luego, más adelante, pues ya la vamos a usar en otro tipo de contextos, ¿ok? That are pretty different to this one. But right now, both of them are polite. Okay, perfect. Yes. Cool. All right. Let's continue with this. Okay. Let's start with could you. Listen up. That's the structure. All right. In here... This type of a structure, we are not going to put them into a third person or something like that. No, it's just questions in first person because these type of questions are directly to the person. And that's it. Okay, that's it. Just give me one second. All right, let's move. Check out this structure. Look at this structure. This is the structure that we are going to be doing, okay, uh, with these type of questions that we're going to be creating, all right? Give me one second. All right, I got a lot of things. Uh, the structure is, if you take a look in there, could you plus the base form of the verb, okay, plus the complement. It's pretty simple, actually, the structure, all right? It's just that part, uh, the one that we are going to need, okay, just to 
make and create questions using this. Now, put them into context. Look at this. All right, Xiomara, can you please read this question for me? Yes, could you send this report? Ah, okay, very good. Could you send this report? Listen up. Podrías enviar este reporte? That's what it says. Look at the answer. Just sure. That's the whole answer, right? Sure. All right, ahora bien, ustedes se preguntarán, pero ¿por qué en otras estructuras con yes, no questions, por lo general, se escribirían yes, I could? All right, listen up, let, let me explain this. No podemos utilizar esta estructura así como está, como positive answer, porque básicamente no tendría un tanto de lógica que usáramos este tipo de respuestas si la pregunta es ¿podrías enviar este reporte? Ok. The type of answer sería así como sí, podría. Listen. Sí, podría. En este caso estamos dando una afirmación de algo pero a la misma vez estamos denotando que probablemente no lo vamos a hacer. Ok. Es como que ah, sí, sí, pero no lo vamos a hacer. All right. So, entonces, por eso se toma bien el hecho de no tomar esto como respuesta y simplemente buscar palabras alternas como sure, yes, of course, ok, right away, in a minute, porque son respuestas que van directamente al grano, como dicen, para decir, sí, lo haré, ok, o en el instante, right, something that you're gonna, uh, uh, you're gonna do in the moment of speaking. So that's why we don't write down answers like those ones, right? Entonces, por eso no escribimos preguntas como, yes, I could. Porque a pesar de que estamos afirmando, ok, a la pregunta, básicamente estamos dando a denotar que no haríamos, hay una gran posibilidad de que no haríamos lo que se nos está pidiendo. All right? So that's why we are taking this as a model of answer. So, take a look at this. It, that's why it says in here. Answers to requests with could you are not normally yes, I could, all right, or yes, I can, because it's not possible, right? ¿Por qué? Porque no es posible ese tipo de respuestas. Básicamente serían con los usos de sure, okay, right away, like in a minute, so in here I can write down more answers, possible answers to this question. Podría ser, for example, of course, right away. Right away significa ahorita mismo. Of course, right away. Just a simple okay. In a minute. All right, and questions like this, uh, answers like this. Look, of course, por supuesto, right away, ahorita. Okay, está bien. In a minute, ah, en un minuto. So you see, these are the type, the possible answers that we can write down to this type of question. Entonces, este es el tipo de respuestas que nosotros básicamente daríamos, all right, a este tipo de preguntas. Cool. Right as you now, people. Do you have any question? Bien. ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá? ¿Algo que no esté del todo claro? Y si es en negativo. All right. So, in that case, it's just simple. No, I wouldn't. And that's it. Or no, I couldn't in this case. That's it. All right? Just put it, no, I couldn't. No, no podría. Right? And that's it. How come? Like this. Look. If it is negative. No, I, I couldn't. Like this. And you got it like that. You see? That's it. Ese sería el tipo de respuesta ya en modo negativo. Right? Pero ya para modo positivo ya sí tendríamos más de una forma. 
full. Any other question? I guess everything is getting uh, clear, so let's continue. All right, let's start out with some examples. Veronica, can you help me out reading this question? Veronica? Hola. Could you help me out reading the example question? Yes, could you prepare the new meeting? Uh, okay, and the answer? Right away. Okay, right away. ¿Qué decía que era right away, Verónica? Es como ahora mismo. Exactly. Hay otra manera también de poder decir esa misma frase, right? Solo que en diferentes palabras. That one is right now. Creo que esta ya la han usado, ya la, ya la saben ustedes. Right now. It's like Ahorita, right? Ahora mismo. So you see, you can use those ones. Next example question. Carla, help me out reading. Could you can the clients? Okay, thank you. Uh, clients, okay, cool. Could you call the clients? There you go. Possible answer, Carla? In a minute. Okay, in a minute. No, nah, in a minute, right? That's an expression to say, right? Ah, dentro de un rato lo hago, right? Cool. Michelle, let's read this one. Uh, could you train the personnel? Possible answer, Michelle. Yes, yes, of, of course. All right, there you go. Yes, of course. So this is a possible answer that we can have, right? Just to answer to this type of questions. You see, could you train the personnel? Ah, ¿podrías entrenar el nuevo personal? Yes, of course, right? Sí, por supuesto. So that's the possible answer that we can have. Cool people. Are we understanding this thing? Bien, vamos comprendiendo la estructura, cómo funciona y el tipo de respuesta. Oh, do you have any question? ¿O tenemos alguna pregunta? O sea que call you solo con call you se puede ocupar de con otro. Exactly, exactly. Listen, acá este tipo de estructura no lo vamos a hacer en tercera persona, Carlos. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo le, le hago una pregunta a usted, sería directamente a usted. Si le digo, hey, Carlos, could you turn on your microphone? ¿Podría encender su micrófono? So you see, the question is directly to you. Y usted me diría, right away. Yes, of course. Ok, dependiendo de su tipo de respuesta. Pero imagínese si yo le diría, cool, Verónica, turn on the microphone. ¿Podría Verónica encender su micrófono? Usted no puede responder por Verónica, porque no sabe usted la respuesta que ella me puede dar. Y ya right. si queríamos poner, ¿podríamos encender el micrófono? Cito? Ok, no, ahí en conjunto sí, y ahí sí, pero cuando hay una respuesta en conjunto, ¿all right? So, si yo les, yo les hago la petición a ustedes, de polite request, could you turn on your cameras? Listen. Could you turn on your cameras? Y justo cuando haga la pregunta, Carla apaga la cámara, right? You see? Eh, lo, lo opuesto. Cool, man, cool. All right. Could you turn on your cameras? So, todos me podrían decir. Yes. Of course. Right? En una sola respuesta. You see? That's, that's, that's okay. All right? En este caso acá ya no podemos llevar... Yes, we could, porque entonces sí, sería como, sí, podríamos. Ah, pero me da la pauta de que 
usted está de acuerdo, pero probablemente no lo haga. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso se utilizan este tipo de respuestas. Simplemente, yes, of course, ok, right away, in a minute, right? Just to provide the answer to this type of questions. So that's why it's mostly preferable to ask questions only in first person, ¿ok? Por eso es preferible simplemente eh, proveer respuestas nada más o, o preguntas también en primera persona, right? And that's it. Just first person. Give me one second. Jesus Christ. Me están mandando mensajes y no sé quién. No sé quién. All right, anyways. Let me see. Uh, in this case, what are we going to do? Vamos a ver si es cierto que vamos comprendiendo este tema. Hasta no ver la práctica, no comprender si es cierto que vamos agarrando eh, la estructura de esto. Listen up. Listen. En nuestra casa, por lo general, nosotros solemos dar a uh, request. Podemos solicitar algo, ¿ok? O podemos pedirle algo a alguien in there. Now, people, using could you, podría hacerme tres ejemplos, three examples, sobre peticiones que ustedes suelen hacer en su casa, right? About things that you can request in your house, using could you. All right, for example, in my case, in my case, I can tell my wife, Could you, listen up, could you, uh, what, bring me the charger of the computer? So in that case, I am asking a polite request, right? So give me three examples of something that you can provide or can request in this case in your house, just in your house. When you finish the questions, just let me know. Only the questions. No answers. Just the questions. When you finish them all, let me know. Only three. All right. Let me know when you finish. Ah, ok, perfecto, Carlos. Mm, ok, cool. Y te voy a comentar que yo me sacó dos, dos veces, uno otra vez. ¿Really? Eh, ¿Ya checó si tiene alguna actualización pendiente? Voy a revisar eso, porque bien raro, nunca me ha pasado, llevan dos días. That's weird. All right, just let me know when you finish. Finish. Ah, okay, cool, Wendy. All right, I guess most of you have already finished. So let's start over uh, with the questions that you might have. 
Uh, I'm going to start with Carlos because he was the first one to say that he finished. So, Carlos, can you please read the questions that you have? Yes, teacher. The first one is, could you give me the, the, the remote control, please? Now, nah, okay. Okay. Next. The second one, could, could you talk with me about the problem? Ah, okay. Uh, the last one. Could you cook that meat with garlic, please? Ah, okay. Could you cook that meat with garlic? Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's see who's going to be the next one. Wendy. Let's read yours, Wendy. Could you turn off the TV? Now, nah, okay, perfect. Could you cook now? Mm -hmm. Could you wash the dishes? Now, nah, okay, could you wash the dishes? Nice. Thank you, Wendy. Yomara. Mm -hmm. Let's see yours. Yes. Could you go to the grocery store and buy me cookies? And buy me cookies, okay. Could you help me to clean my room? Okay, you're good. And could you borrow me your bicycle? Solo que no sé si el verbo prestar puedo ocupar el borrow. Aha, you can uh, you can use borrow or lend. Ah, uh, lend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Sumara. Now, Carlos Mauricio. How you cook the dinner? Okay. Could you go? Could you go to the supermarket? Very could good. you feed the dog? Now, nah, okay, very good. Could you feel the dog? There you go. Thank you. Veronica? Um, could you make coffee? Okay. Uh, could you lend me a book? And could you bring my dress? Okay, good. Could you bring my dress? Ah, okay, cool. Acceptable. There you go. Carla. Could you let me the let me the computer? Could you make make me a coffee? Ah, okay. Could you room up the volume on the TV? Repeat that one again, please. Could you uh, round up? Como podrías bajarle el volumen a la televisión? Ah, okay. It would be like this. Could you turn? <coughs> Give me one second. Could you turn? Like this. Could you turn down the volume of the TV? Okay. Ah, okay. There you go. That's what it is. Cool. Thank you, Carla. Now, Michelle, read your examples. Pero no sé si están bien. Okay, read them, no problem. Vaya. Could you pay my cell phone bill? Okay, cool. Que para verdad. <laughs> Bye. Could you wash my clothes? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo hice la cosa que quisiera. Could you let me sleep a little? Could you let me sleep? A little more. O no sé si es more. A little, a, a little bit more. Ah. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
ver, ¿a quién le gustaría decirle eso? eso ¿A quién le gustaría pedirle eso? A mi mamá. Come on, Michelle. Pero obviamente no pasa, así que cosas que yo quisiera. Nah, man. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. Thank you, Michelle. That was crazy. Uh, Andres, do you have your examples? Okay. Eh, ¿Me escucha? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, number one, will you give me a coffee? Okay. Uh, number two, could you turn on the car? Okay. And number three, could you call me, please? Could you? Call, call me, llamarme, puedes llamarme, por favor. Ah, ah, call me, call me. Call me, ah, okay. Ah, right. There you go. Yo creí de calm de calmar. Podría no. cal calmarme. <ríe> what? what? Es una petición también. Solo que en otro momento. <ríe> All right. Y eso se lo dirá a Raquel. Nah, Raquel, no, right. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's bringing fire to the wood. All right. Thank you, Andrés. Now, Raquel. Let's read yours, Raquel. Raquel, are you there? Jesus Christ, did she fall asleep again? Okay, I guess she fell asleep. Jorge, are you there? Did you finish the examples, Jorge? Oh my God, people! That's why I'm telling you, turn on the cameras. I don't, I don't know if you're sleeping. I don't know if you're there. I don't know if you're connected or disconnected. Whatever, Ivania, are you there? Can you please read your examples, please? Ivania, are you there? Okay. I ah, uh, perdón. Eh, could I ever see that? Mm. Could you tell me what the bank is? Okay. Can I get those? Ah, yeah, I mean, one is missing, right? Okay, all right. This is at all, no problem. Uh, let me see who else. Jesus Christ, there's no more people. Emmanuel? I am in Emmanuel is missing. I sure. You're running, man. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. My example are, okay. could you could you eat more slowly? Okay. Could you speak loud? Okay, good. And the, the last, could you eat my, could you, could you prepare my dinner, please? Uh, okay, could, could you prepare my dinner? All right, and she will say, right away. <laughs> okay, cool, perfect. Well, basically, I, I think we, we got along with this uh, structure, so I think we don't have any problem with that. So let's continue. Okay, from this one, let's go into the next one. Give me one second, I'm just to clear up these things to move on. Okay, now, put aside the uses of this one and check this out. This is on the manual, okay? This is taken from a page in the manual. It says, could you print out the budget file? Could you print out the budget file? It says the answer right away, Rita. You see, that's why I'm telling you. That's just like the most appropriate answer to this type of questions. Este es como el tipo de respuesta más apropiadas a preguntas como las cuales ustedes han elaborado, like, like in there, right? Related to what you do in your house. Now, 
let's continue with this. Now let's change it a little bit because now it's would you mind? All right. Would you mind in this case is like te importaría? So that's the translation that we can uh, have for this type of a structure, right? Te importaría? Check out the structure. So we got would you mind plus the verb in ing. Listen. Acá el verbo ya no va en forma base. El verbo principal tiene que ir modificado. ¿Y cómo va a ir modificado? Look, verb plus ing. Tiene que llevar ing el verbo principal. All right? Después entonces de la estructura, would you mind el siguiente verbo que coloquemos, o sea, el verbo que nos va a indicar la acción sobre la cual estamos preguntando, ese verbo tiene que ir con ing. Right? The verb has to go with ing. All right. Now I'm going to put the presentation here. Example. Check out the examples that we're going to be doing. Michelle, help me reading, Michelle. Uh, would you mind sending emails to customers? Ah, okay, very good. Would you mind sending emails to customers? ¿Importaría enviar correos a los clientes? You see? You might say, in a moment. Ah, en un momento. You see? That's the possible answer as well. Y también, eh, digamos, a comparación de otro, la otra estructura de preguntas, acá igual pondremos el uso de estos tipos de respuesta. Like in a moment, right away, all right. Uh, you might even say tomorrow. Okay, things like that. All right, let's continue. Look at this. Uh, Wendy, help me out reading. Uh, Wendy? Hola. Ah, ya me Wendy, continue. Se, se, se le cortó la voz. Hola. Hello. Do you listen to us? Ah, ok. Sí, bien raro. Eh, would you mind cooking the dinner? Ah, ok, cool. Would you mind cooking the dinner? That's like, ah, ¿te importaría cocinar la cena? You see? So this is the type of question that we can use to request a very polite uh, action, to put it like that, a very polite action. Would you mind cooking the dinner, the possible answer, right away? Listen up, right away, right now, in a moment, okay? So depending on, on the time frame that you do this type of activity, right? That's the way how you, are going to answer to this to this structure but if you can see in that case in here look at this if you can see the percent goes in here to just add ing the same as in here if you take a look at that it says would you mind cooking the dinner so in that case all right, the bird cook, it goes with ing. All right, that's the way how we can do this type of a structure. All right, cool. Right up to now, do we have any questions with this? Bien, hasta ahora acá, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con esta estructura? Any question that you might have, people? If you compare this type of structures with the other one, grammatically speaking, it's completely different. 
gramaticalmente hablando, con, uh, comparando esta, right, esta estructura con la otra, difieren bastante por el hecho de eh, eh, la posición del verbo principal, ¿ok? Que en una se modifica con ing y la otra permanece en forma base el verbo, right? So in here you just have to modify the verb into ing, ¿ok? That's the only difference that we gotta do over here. Cool. Uh, so do you have any question? ¿Va quedando claro la estructura de cómo funciona? ¿Qué necesitamos después de Would you si, mind? Teacher, y teacher si, y si en, el, en el core, si se pone you could. Ah, pero es que si dice you could, básicamente es una oración positiva. Ya no es una polite request. Ya no está solicitando nada ahí, Carlos. Al contrario, eh, ahí está denotando otro, otra cosa. Y ahí está denotando una posibilidad. Por ejemplo, si you say, you could go to the party if you want. Ah, tú podrías ir a las fiestas si, si quieres. So you see, ¿qué estamos denotando ahí? Estamos denotando una possibility, posibilidad de hacer algo, right? La posibilidad de algo. So eso sí es para oraciones afirmativas, right? ¿Era esa su inquietud, Carlos? Yes. Ah, ok, perfecto. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. Can somebody uh, tell me if you have any question with this structure? Because remember, we need to practice this structure as much as we can. So if you don't have any other question, we're going to go into the practice. You're going to make some questions and probably we're going to be interacting with those questions. How come, what are we going to be doing? Look at this. Nice. If you don't have any other question, let's put this one into the practice with the examples. All right, cool. Xiomara, help me read in this one. Would you mind closing the door? Ah, okay, very good. All right, it says, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, give me one second. In here, eliminate this. This one doesn't go. Supongamos que aquí no hay nada. It's like this, right? Okay, no problem, it says. That's the possible answer to that question, right? Right, next question. No, 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 no. Joel, let's read the question, please. Joel, are you there? Hello. Okay, let's suppose just, I mean, he's not there. Uh, 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 let, let me see. Emmanuel, read this question for me, man. Okay. Would you mind washing my car? Okay, very good. Say that out. Would you mind washing my car? It says, yes, in a month. Jesus Christ, why? In Spanish. No, man, the thing is that I think that el autocorrector, es que estaba trabajando en unas cosas en español y tuve que cambiar el idioma, porque mucho autocorrector me, me estaban trasladando al, a inglés algunas palabras. When I was, do, when I was working on, on Excel, so I turned the, the, oh my God, I turned the, the language into Spanish. So when I was creating the presentation, I didn't notice that probably some words turned from, from English to Spanish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God, I need to go back with the English to the computer. Ah, Jesus. Okay, so don't pay attention to that. It says, yes, in a moment, right? That's the way how we can answer to these questions. Nice. Mr. Gamero, help me read in this one. <laughs> 
Would you mind taking a nap? Okay, very good. Would you mind taking a nap? So what is that? What is a nap? Una siesta. Ah, okay, very good. All right. Siesta. No fiesta, right? Para los que, los que no duermen mucho. I mean, that's siesta. All right, that's the one. So the possible answer, what would be? Look. Sure. You may say that and you got the answer. Sure. Or you might say, no problem. Right? That is a possible answer. Entonces, esta es una serie de posibles respuestas que podemos tener a este tipo de preguntas. Right? So, that's, that's pretty easy for you guys. Right? That's not that difficult. All right. There you go. Now, let's suppose you're living with a family member. Right? You're living with a family member, you're living with your wife, you're living with your husband, you're living with your mother or with your brother, whatever. Con la persona que ustedes vivan, ¿cuáles son las posibles uh, requests que ustedes les pueden hacer? Vamos a hacer lo mismo con la, que, que, que hicimos con la, con la otra estructura. Van a hacer tres ejemplos, all right? Sobre polite requests que ustedes uh, pueden pedir en su casa. Right? Sobre solicitudes formales que ustedes pueden pedir que hagan alguien en su casa. Ok? Let's do it. But let's remember. Tomando en cuenta, recuerden que después de would you mind, el verbo principal tiene que ir en ing. Right? Let's remember that. It has to go with ing. Ok, let's try to do it. And let me know when you finish. Let me know when you finish. Finish teacher. Okay, perfect. For the other ones who haven't finished, just let me know, right? When you finish.
Okay, I see some of you that have already finished. So let's finish. start over. Okay, perfect, perfect. Cool. I will give you time, a, a little bit more time for the ones who haven't finished. Para los que no han terminado, les voy a dar un poco más de tiempo. Mientras tanto, voy a pasar asistencia. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay, just give me one second. I'm going to stop in this. Okay, and pass the attendance list. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Where do you live, Ivania? Como para que esté lloviendo. I wish it could be raining here. Ah, y acá gran calor. Uh, you're living by San Salvador? No. So, pero en zona central? Yes. Ah, I mean, so then that's why, con razón. No, I mean, mm -hmm. aquí en Oriente nos estamos alcochando. Está haciendo calor. Yeah, I mean, it's super really. Okay, cool. Let me see, I'm going to pass the attendance, please, and then we're going to continue with that. Give me one second. Le digo mis vacaciones. Hola. Si le digo mis oraciones. Ay, a mí ya casi vamos a ir las oraciones. Just give me one second. Uh, I'm going to pass first the attendance list because it's time. Uh, let me see. Uh, the, 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 the Andrés Joel. Present. Ah, man, you're there. I thought you were sleeping. Cool. <laughs> Carlos Mauricio Present Ok, cool Cindy Melanie Cindy, Cindy I guess Cindy is working Let me see Stephanie Michelle Present ah, Ok, cool Ivania Jamilet Present Okay, nice. Let's move. Jacqueline Patricia. Jacqueline, are you there? Are you there? Because I don't listen to you. No la escucho, Jacqueline. Supongo que ahí está. Ah, so then that's why, Jorge. Okay, cool, cool, no problem. So you're in your way home. Nice. Joanna's, I mean, Joanna's no, not going to be here. Jorge Alberto, okay, Jorge is there. Jose Edgar is, is, is a listener. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, nice. Julio Cesar. Julio, Julio. Or... Man, he got problems. Okay, with the internet probably. Karen Beatriz. Just... Present. Okay, cool. As a listener. Uh, Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, nice. Let's move. Raquel Stephanie. Raquel, are you there? Okay, she, she's not there. Veronica Arely? Present. Okay, nice. Wendy Yamilet? Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. William Ernesto, he's on the way home. Present, present, teacher. 
Ah, ok, cool. You're going there, man. Cool. Xiomara Elizabeth. Yes, sir. Ok, nice. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Very good. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. All right, so he's not here. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Now let's provide the examples that you got people. That's what we were about to do. Let me see. I'm gonna start with Xiomara. Xiomara, read your question, please. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Just three of them. I'm just checking. Them. Okay. No, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, Zimara. You did a good. Now, Carlos, uh, Mauricio. Let's go, man. Okay. Would you mind cleaning my bedroom? <laughs> okay. Would you mind choosing my shirt? Okay. Would you mind buying the dinner? Buying the dinner. Now, okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Carlos. You did a good. Ivania. Okay. Would you mean cooking the dinner? Mind, okay. Uh, would... Ah, perdón, me está ahí. Uh, Las mierdas. Uh, mm. Would you clean my house? Listen, listen. Would you mind cleaning my house? Okay. Uh, would you mind washing for my clothes? Ah, washing my clothes. Okay. Uh, would you mind making dinner? <laughs> would you mind making the dinner? No? Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Maria. Carlos Chavez. Okay, teacher. Uh, the first one. Would you mind cooking to me? Cooking for me, actually. No, uh, would me. you mind cooking to me or for me? For me, yeah, for me. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, the second one. Would you like, uh, no, would you mind parking my car for me? Okay. The last one. Would you drink? Something with me. Drink it again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Would you mind drinking something with me? Ah, okay. I mean, that's different. That's different. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no pasa nada. Like, like the audio. Cool. Now, next, Carla. <laughs> I want to listen to Carla's examples. Okay. Would you mind pay, paying the bill? Paying uh, the bill? Uh huh. Ah, okay. Would you mind talking out the trash? Talking? Talking out the trash? Podría sacar la basura. Ah, cuchu. <laughs> Come on, man. Me <laughs> importaría. <laughs> okay, cool. Good. Will you mind taking out the garbage or the trash, whatever? Trash. Cool. Okay. Uh, would you mind moving the car? Moving the car. Uh huh. Ah, okay, cool. Would you mind giving me a hundred dollars? That would be 
formal requirements. Oh, yeah, well, that, that's cool. That's cool. Take out that trash. Oh, my God. But anyways, that's cool, Carla. That's cool. <laughs> Very nice examples. Veronica. Let's see Veronica's examples. What do they bring? Hmm. Um, will you mind making pizza? Will you mind doing the homework? And will you mind buying Buy the lunch? Buying what? The lunch. Ah, the lunch. 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 I heard something different. Okay, cool. Thank you, Veronica. Now, Michelle. Let's read yours, Michelle. Michelle, are you there? Okay, I guess she's not there. Emmanuel, read yours. Hola. Ah, yeah, Michelle, she's there. She's there. One year later. Cool, Michelle. Me toca a mí. Yes. Vaya, pero no sé si están bien. Would you mind giving me back dress, my dress? Uh, repeat, repeat again the, the, the question. <laughs> Would you mind giving me back my dress? Okay. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, it's okay. That's okay. Ay, qué buena. Qué buena amiga. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's continue. Would you, would you mind making me a coffee? Okay. E would you mind talking about the money you owe me? Man, your, <laughs> your examples are so special, man. Tienen un toque de, de, de así de realidad, de realidad, your, your examples, Michelle. Como usted dijo, teacher, de la familia, yo dije mi hermano. ¿Te importaría hablar sobre el dinero que me debes? <laughs> that was, that was cool, man. That was cool. All right. Cool, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, Emmanuel, read your examples. Okay. Uh, would you mind eating some pizza with me? Okay, cool. Would you mind painting my house? Mm -hmm. And the last one, would you mind cleaning the house, please? Now, would you mind cleaning the house? Okay, very good. Thank you, Manuel. Let me see who else, Wendy. Let's see what you got, Wendy. Wendy, are you there? Oriana, sí. I am good. Yeah, tengo, would you like to travel next year? Ah, okay. Would you like to wash my car? Okay. Uh, would you like uh, to work for me? <laughs> for would, would you like to work <laughs> for me? Okay, that was good. That's cool. Y eso suena así como, como, ay, I mean, you gotta work for me. <laughs> sí, ya no aguantamos. <laughs> por dos, por dos. But anyways, <laughs> we are here, right? Okay, cool. Thank you, Wendy. Andres, read your examples, man. Andres Joel, are you there? Hello. Andres, this is the attendance list, so probably you wake up. Sorry, teacher. Esa sí no la hice. Ah, you didn't do it? Las anteriores sí las hice? Sí, las de la de, 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 de podría. Lea mesas, entonces, no problem. Ahorita, un segundo. Perfect, man. Let's go. Ok. Eh, le dije, could you give me a coffee? Could you turn on the car? Ajá. Could you call me, please? 
Could you? Call me, please. Ah, call me, call me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. There you go. This is going to be acceptable. Thank you. Uh, let okay. me see who else is going to be here. Jorge is on the way home. Cindy is working. Jose Edgar is working. Karen is She's having an issue. William, are you in your house, William? Or not yet? Not yet, right? Okay, Jacqueline, I think is working. Uh, ahorita voy, ahorita aterrizando, teacher. Solo he venido escuchando. Okay, Pero, okay. <laughs> Pero puedo uh, intentarlo. Yo sé que oh. se ha estado hablando de cool y uh, would you like. Ajá. Uh -huh. Now it's like, would you like. All right. If you can, let's do one example. I would you like. Uh, would you like? Uh -huh. I would you like. No, nah, I mean, that's uh, a, that's a drive question. My, drive my car with for me would you like driving my car Dri for me? my car for me mm, okay cool uh i'll go to lie watch uh, the watching the, watching the bedroom watching the bedroom okay all right oh, so the cleaner the cleaner sorry ah, i mean sorry. cleaning, cleaning the, the cleaner is, yeah me imaginaba lavando todo el, todo el, todo el no, cuarto. Me, me clean, con, una, con una manguera. Es que, es que no las tengo formuladas, porque solo okay. venía escuchando y solo las venía, mentalmente las tengo ahorita. All right, no problem, no problem. Pero sí, es lo que, lo que poco logré escuchar. All right, nice, eh? nice, no problem. Cool. Okay. Prove, provecho, Carla. Nice. Jacqueline. <ríe> Jacqueline, ayude. Let me see. Ya no aguanto, tengo hambre, teacher. Ya, yeah, I mean, let's eat, no problem. Let's eat and share what you're eating. <laughs> Raquel, let me see if Raquel is still there or she went to sleep. Raquel, are you there? Hello. Jesus Christ, she went to sleep probably. All right, anyways, let's continue with the things that we're going to be doing. Let me see. We got this, this, this. No. Okay, the presentation is already done. So let's move to the manual because we're going to work in there in some things that are pending in there. Okay, this is the one with this one over here. Okay, so it goes in here. Look at this. These are the examples that you got in there, uh, the ones that I put, I put with some pictures. Look at this. Could you print out the budget file? It says right away, Rita. You see? Right away, Rita. Now, this is the one I want using, would you mind? Look, would you mind opening the window? All right, it's like, ¿te importaría abrir la ventana? Sure, no problem. Ah, seguro, no problema. You see, this is a way of answer, okay, with this. Now, let's move, let's move. This one is just about the request. When uh, we use a noun and we use a verb, we're not going to stop that much in here. Think of five requests you need to uh, in your workplace. This is something that we're gonna be doing like a little bit later. All right, let's move to this one. This is, this is the part, look at this. This is the grammar part that goes over here. And this is part of what we were doing. It says how to use could you and would you mind. It says use could and would you mind to ask polite requests. Look at that. To ask polite requests. Okay. Simplemente es usado para pedir o, o para solicitar algo de manera formal o polite, o de manera cortés, por así decirlo, right? Let's remember that. Now, it says, hey, could you call me later? Look at this. Could you call me later? It says, sure, right? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Ah, like, ¿podrías hacer 10 copias de este papel? It says, right away, ahorita mismo. Let me see. 
Okay. And the next one, uh, 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 let me see who can help me out. Someone that has not participated that much. Emmanuel, that's right, Emmanuel. Could you, could you contact the tech support? Now, nah, okay, very good. Could you contact the tech support? You see, it says, no problem. Okay, all right, sin problema. Cool. Now, the other way around, this one is pretty different, grammatically speaking. Why? It says, A, hey, would you mind calling the plant manager? Look at that. Would you mind calling the plant manager? It says the possible answer right away. Right away. Okay, so this is a possible answer, right? Now, next question. In here. Okay, go, man. Go. Eh, solo que no se mira ahorita. Va. Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? Ah, okay. HR for me? HR for me. All right. Okay. That's human In resources. In a minute. So that's a possible answer, right? There you go. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Now, Veronica, read the last one. Veronica. No, Veronica. <laughs> there you go. Gold go. sending this box to the cleaning department. Ah, okay. Very good. It says, would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? It says, not a problem. All right? No hay problema. Okay, you see, this is the way how we can do this, all right? Look at this. It says, the expected answer for requests with would you mind are not usually no. It says, or oh, will not mind. What are the actions that are requested? Or short answers like the ones in the examples above. All right? Por lo general, este tipo de eh, situaciones o de preguntas o de solicitudes que se suelen hacer o cenar, por lo general se contestan con oraciones positivas o de maneras frases positivas, ¿ok? Por lo general, este tipo de preguntas no se hacen de manera negativa, ¿right? Es poco común que se haga. Por lo general, casi siempre son positivas, ¿ok? Why? Porque en este caso son pequeñas uh, solicitudes que las personas suelen hacernos, ya sea en nuestra casa o en nuestro trabajo, right? En las cuales, pues, nosotros por lo general siempre vamos a decir que sí. Just to put it as, as an example, the way how we got this type of questions, right? Cool. So basically, now that we know how to use could you and how to use will you mind now let's jump into the exercise that we are about to do ahora vamos entonces a pasar a las pequeñas actividades que vamos a estar haciendo all right look at this check this out people i am going to send you to work in a small pairs right nos vamos a ir a trabajar en pequeños grupos en los cuales listen Vamos a crear una pequeña conversación en la cual ustedes, listen, en la cual ustedes son compañeros de trabajo, right? En las cuales ustedes mismos se van a solicitar algo, okay? I don't know what it's gonna be. Ask yourself what kind of questions you might ask, pero tiene que ser algo un poco uh, fluido, por así decirlo. For example, si Carlos trabaja con Verónica, Carlos le puede preguntar a Verónica, would you mind, listen up, would you mind sending these papers to the bus? And Verónica will say, right away. And hey, Carlos, could you do me a favor? Could you please take these papers to the human resources department? And Carlos might say, in a minute, oh, right away. So you see, the idea in here is que tanto Carlos como Verónica practiquen los tipos de preguntas, ya sea un mix, usando could you and would you mind en una pequeña conversación, ¿ok? Cool. 
solo que no vayamos a comenzar de un solo con las preguntas, right? Simplemente digamos un good evening, un, yeah, I mean, con un good evening, how are you, or good morning, whatever you want to say, right? Y luego introduzcamos la pregunta, ¿ok? That's the way how we're going to be doing. Por lo menos unas tres, ok, listen, unas tres preguntas por cada participante dentro de la pequeña conversación, that's it. En las cuales ustedes simplemente una, all right, con posibles palabras cada una de las preguntas que van a hacer. And that's it, ok, in a sequence. That's all I am asking. Cool. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question about what you're going to do? No? All right, perfect. Let's go then. Give me one second. I'm going to put the ones who are active and the ones who are not that active. So Raquel is not there. Jacqueline didn't answer. Cindy's working. Jorge is on the way home. ¿No ha llegado, Jorge? Yeah, yeah, teach. ¿Ya llegó? Okay, perfect. So it's going to be Jorge. Uh, 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 uh. All right, Karen, I think it's just going to be as a listener. Okay, uh, in Wendy and Carlos, I am in Wendy, say. Perfect. Let me see, 17. Give me one second, people. I'm just going to... Aquí estoy. Okay, perfect. Nice, man, nice. I'm just assigning the groups. Give me one second. All right, I guess this person, give me one second. I'm just joining the people who are not participating. I think it's gonna be here. Just give me one second. Okay. I'm just letting three people in it to every into every assignment, into every breakout room, because in that way we are gonna practice the most. Give me one second. Okay, good. And let's put and let's put a manual in here. Okay, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. If you have any question, I'm going to be checking you individually in there and you can ask. Let's go to work, guys. Let's go to work. Y could you, uh, dice, aquí pregunta, aquí Jorge, ¿qué es would you mind? Would you mind es como, ¿le importaría o te importaría? Ah, ok. Yes. Bueno, entonces, vamos a hacer una conversación de esto, ¿sí? Yes. Pueden usar cualquiera de las dos estructuras o las dos estructuras juntas, right? Would you mind y could you? Could you. Yeah. Por ejemplo, vos y yo somos compañeros de trabajo, como decía el teacher. Yo te puedo decir a vos, Jorge, could you let me your, your pencil, please? Es bien, teacher. Exactly. Uh -huh. ah, yo te voy a decir, good evening, George, eh, eh, George. Could you let me your pencil, please? Okay. Ajá, there you go. That's the way. Good evening, George. 
who you let me. Tania. Sería con. Teacher. Hello. Una pregunta. ¿Verdad que es usted eh, quiere como un mini diálogo? Yes. Ah, ok. Like a short conversation. Uh -huh. Okay, entonces yo le preguntaría, Good evening, Ivania. También llamaron. Ay, no. <ríe> wow. ¿Es el teacher? No. <ríe> ok. Estamos haciendo el... ¿Qué estás haciendo? Estamos como pensando las preguntas que nos vamos a hacer cada una para luego darle. Ah, ok, ok. Este, yo quiero decir como, ¿cuál yo prepare, o, prepare. o podrías preparar la, la reunión de mañana? ¿Cómo tengo que seguir después del verbo? Could you prepare, no sé cómo decir. Could you prepare in the meeting for tomorrow? You got it? And I think she got problems with the internet. Do you listen, Veronica? Eh, ahorita sí, es que toda la, toda la clase he estado escuchando así como robótico, como usted dice. Really? Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Ajá, nah, después I mean, del verbo no le escuché. Ah, uh, it says, could you prepare the meeting for tomorrow? Please. Ah, ok, gracias. Teacher, ¿y por qué en, en call lleva el verbo en su forma base y en wall lo lleva con ing? Es que después del verbo mind, porque mind es un verbo, ok, esa es una sola expresión, would you mind, all right? Después uh -huh. del mind, del verbo mind, si colocamos otro verbo, ese verbo tiene que ir con ing por obligación mm. por obligación hay una regla que dice que después de ese verbo tiene que ir con ing el siguiente verbo entonces por eso es que todo verbo que usted ponga si lleva mind antes ese otro verbo tiene que ir con ing mm, por eso es que no entendía eso exactly, por eso, y qué ¿no? verbo es main mind es como de importar. Vaya, si dice, creí que era como mente o algo así. Es que como nombre sí, significa mente. My mind, ah. mi mente. Pero si dice, I mind, listen, I mind, significa me molesta. I mind. Pero si ya lo transforma con el would y dice, would you mind, es... ¿Te importaría? Mm, bye. Gracias. Creo que voy a usar mucho I mind. De ahora en adelante. Así, así como es usted, bien mínimo, y dice I mind the teacher. ¿Verdad? Ya no le escucho de nuevo, Ticha. <risa> How about now? ¿Y ahora? Name, you got oh, very good poquito, that, that... Pero sí está muy mala. Está raro. Sí, ayer era Carlos, eh, los dos Carlos que tenían. Vea. Vaya, ya les tengo, Verónica. Sí. Ok, cool. Let's, let's start with that then, ok? Let's go. Vaya. Este. 
Ahora vamos desde, desde saludarnos, pero. Yes. Bueno, entonces la primera, la primera, la, la primera la vamos a manejar así, como hello, así, hi, Carlos, how are you? Entonces ahí me va a contestar, I'm fine. Y ahí te voy a hacer la pregunta, would you my work tonight? Ah, no, I would you like, I would you my listen, work. Listen, 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 listen. Solamente será would you, ok? Would you mind? Exacto. Ah, okay. Would you mind? Y luego el verbo, el siguiente verbo. Si va a usar el would you mind, el siguiente verbo tiene que ir con ing. Y, ok. Would you mind working tomorrow tonight? Exactly. Ok. Ah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yes. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Sí, porque tonight significa esta noche. Es que es que justamente eso, esta noche. Ah, no, 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 porque estamos hablando ¿Crees, tomorrow. ¿Crees que dice tomorrow? Sí, 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 sí. sí. Ajá, sí. Ah, pues sí, tomorrow, tomorrow night. Así exactly, sería. Exacto, exacto. Ya con could you sí lleva el verbo, el verbo en forma base. Ah, eso es lo que, esa es la duda que yo tenía. Entonces, cuando es could you like, no, could you, solamente. Could you, could you my, es, el verbo va con ing. Exacto. Y cuando va a cool, could el you? verbo va verbo base. Exacto, cuando ya es could you, ya va el verbo en forma base. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yeah. Pero la, la, y, la, ¿Y las preguntas las podemos manejar solo good you o cool también? Pueden unir, pueden, pueden preguntar con ambas. Ah, vale. Pueden hacer Eso. un mix. Es que las tres las hicimos con good you my. Ah, okay. You got only three? No, no estoy, estoy así. Ahí ya. Ya. No, ok, no problem. Three. All right, no problem. Entonces, una en la pequeña conversación y, y practiquen. All right, let's practice it. Ah, va. Dice, no podemos cambiar una. Vamos a ver si cambiamos a la última. No, ok, cool. No problem. Ok. There you go. Por ejemplo, podrías, para decir, podrías y llevar coffee, café al, a la reunión, pongamos entonces. Would you, would you mind? Pero, pero ya me he perdido. Yo he anotado lo que están diciendo, pero ya me perdí. No, no, no lo, lo de nosotros está bien. Solo ayudándole a, a, ¿A, a la otra compañera, a Jacqueline. Le estamos ah, formulando perdón. la oración. Como ella nos va a decir que si podemos llevar café a la, a la reunión, le podemos decir, would you mind? How do you say llevar café? Would you mind? Taking coffee. Taking, taking coffee, coffee to the meeting. To the meeting. Yes. Take yeah. Coffee. Okay. Bye, Jacqueline. Would you mind taking coffee to the meeting? Y esa era la pregunta que había hecho. La respuesta no la he hecho. Yes. Ah, no, no. La respuesta la puede, puede poner, dar. Quiero ver. Yes, you coffee. Si Omara, si Omara podría responder ahí. Diga la, diga la pregunta otra vez que esto no lo confundo mucho. Ok, would you mind taking coffee to the meeting, please? Mm, of course. All right, you might say yes, of course, in a minute, right away, right now. All of them can be acceptable, ok? Perfect. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Drinking. Uh -huh. <clears throat> With me. Okay. Hey, Chris, you have to hold the the Perfect. Good idea. Okay. Entonces, eh, yo hago, hago la última aquí. Que sería... 
Kuju. Kuju. Teacher, ¿cómo sería? Si aquí para estudiarme ya, yo quiero decirle, eh, ¿podría acompañarme? Ah, no, si podríamos irnos juntos en, en, en mi vehículo. ¿Cómo? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decirle a él, ¿podríamos irnos juntos en mi vehículo? Could you... Could you go together in my car? Could you oh, go? No, no, in that case, could we go? In that case. Or could you go with me? Could you go with me? In the car? With me in the car? By Stafford? A mí me fregado, teacher. Hola. Ay, I mean, I como... Así lo estoy escuchando, que anda no medio fónico. Bien estaba, hoy amanecí mal. Ah, no, mi eso anda dando de la noche a la mañana. That's true. Horrible, horrible. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. That sucks. Jorge, yo te pregunté a vos, could you go with me in the car? ¿Puedes llevarse por mí? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, Ah, vaya, entonces vos terminás ahí con tu última pregunta, ya usando Q o W. Cuyo, quiero ver. Cuyo have. Could you have dinner with me in my house? In the ladies, are you just practicing? Estamos terminando todavía. Nice, man, nice. Okay, no hay problem, diría yo. Teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. ¿Se podría poner en una, pre, una pregunta? We could do the thing inventory to, together. Eh, no, perdón. Inventario final. Final inventory. Final inventario final junto. Ajá. Eh, Se podría we hacer we. Final inventory together. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, eso puede. Ah, ok. Solo faltaría tu respuesta. Ok, no hay problema. Oh. Ya vino el teacher, preguntémosle. What's up? <ríe> Queremos escribir como ¿Podrías decirme para quién? Es decir, que yo le digo a ella que, que si puede llevar una caja y ella me pregunta ¿Para quién? Entonces nosotros le hemos puesto en Call You Tell Me For Who, pero no sabemos si es así. Okay, who, could you tell me who you're taking the box for? Who tell me? Who, okay, could you tell me who? ¿Qué dijo después? Who are you? Uh -huh. Who are you taking the box? Mm -hmm. Or. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Vaya, la otra era. Could you prepare an ah, no, other? Could you prepare the meal for tomorrow? Mm -hmm. 
ya no me voy a ir for tomorrow. Y yo le voy a contestar. Right away. Um, teacher, y para yo decirle um, para la secretaria, ¿cómo sería? For the secretary. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or to the secretary. Ah. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre for uh, y tú? Cuando digo tú y cuando digo for. Es que for es como para, tú es como a. Ah. Voy a anotar eso. Ahí va. Ok, entonces. ¿Dónde íbamos? For tomorrow. ¿Y usted me responde, Wendy? Eh, right away. Ok. Perfect. Let's continue. Bye. Veo que la pantalla se te queda congelada. Sí, queda como congelada la imagen, pero, pero lo importante es que ya terminamos y ojalá que no salga porque no me había cortado yes. otra vez este teléfono. Sí. Are, you, are, are you having the same issues? What? Are you having the same issues with the internet? Ya me está fallando. Okay. No sé por qué, pero fíjese que llegando a la casa, yo creo que quizás. Quizás no sé si es por la zona ahora o por el lugar donde estoy en la casa. Me está empezando a fallar porque normalmente en las primer, los primeros dos módulos no tuve este tipo de problema. Y, le digo yo que, y lo digo yo que siempre lo, lo veo así con el, con el teléfono, pues la clase siempre lo he visto así con el celular. Ajá. No Pero, sé qué, qué podrá hacer porque sí. Ajá, antes no tenía ese problema. ¿sí? No, no tenía ese problema. Y ahora sí se me queda congelada la imagen, se me... Me, se me sale de, 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 la, de la clase uh -huh. y hasta, hasta los he tratado los de, hasta los del cable porque de la línea porque le he dicho que está pasando pues le digo sí porque se me están fallando con el servicio le digo sí sí pero es que es que y a mí me porque, cuando, porque cuando vengo de camino Ajá. ahí compruebo yo porque vengo manejando sí voy escuchando y no me falla pero él llegando a la casa ahí él es, empieza pero... a fallar no sé si es la posición donde estoy de la casa, no sé, pero no sé, siempre claro. en el mismo lugar he recibido la clase. Es súper raro. No, man, sí. en, en, en my case es the opposite, porque como luego yo después de la clase tengo que compartir el video, el video por lo general se tarda unos 25 a 30 minutos para convertirse, ¿all right? Y luego tengo que subirlo a YouTube en la, en la lista de en la playlist. Entonces, mm. últimamente he, he estado notando, y bueno, no es que me, no, no me quejo, al contrario, estoy eh, no asombrado, pero un tanto curioso, un, un dato curioso. Fíjese que el internet que yo tengo es de 15 megas, right 15 megas, I'm just paying, like, simplemente estoy pagando 25 al mes, right That's it. De carga en un día normal, like right now, de carga eh, es de 2.8 megas, dice. Y descarga es de, eh, se pone de 15 o a veces 16, en decir. Pero lo curioso es que después de las, que 10.45 en adelante, el internet curiosamente ha hecho un test de velocidad y de los 15 pasa a 40 megas de descarga y de 2.4 de, de, de subida pasa a 20. Men. El video de, de casi un giga a veces se tarda que siete minutos en subirse. That's weird. Es súper rápido. Y, y a veces solo. Y lo, hacen, y lo hacen en este momento. Una claro, hora. Pero, uf. <risa> yeah, man, por lo general son 30 minutos. Y, y así como que, what? ¿Qué, qué pasa? What happens? Y obviamente, ah, no lo, y obviamente no lo voy a reportar porque le van a poner atención a eso. Y, me beneficia. <risa> so it's weird. Eh, no. Es raro. Niño. Es weird. Es raro. Sí, pero, pero sí. Eh, las primeras veces que me empezó a fallar fue cuando fue que estaba lloviendo. Yo dije, ajá. bueno, ya porque está lloviendo normal. Dije, ajá, ajá, probablemente. Pero no, hombre, ni lloviendo ni nada y siempre me queda. Igual, fichado, igual, ¿no? igual, igual a mí, a mí, aunque sea lloviendo, nunca me había fallado solo hasta ayer y sin ah. estar lloviendo. 
ya me, es, es raro, es raro. A veces sí. es por la, ajá, por lo mismo de la, de la señal, quizás cuando se satura, o no sé, probable. No, y le digo, te, le digo, le digo a Carlos de que es bien complicado, porque imagínese que, imagínese ayer salido casi a las 10 de la noche, hoy venía, venía de, de Chalatenango, salí a las 7 de la mañana, de la mañana de la, de, de, salí a las 5 de la mañana, y venía saliendo de allá casi al un cuarto a las 7 de la noche. Fue y, no, no, es que hoy se me tocó de campo, pero como yo estoy en venta, entonces me tocó estar en ah. Chalatenango ahora. Ah, pues sí. Pero bien sí. movido, bien movido. No tiene idea, pero, pero <risa> interesante pues, cuando uno sale también. Ya, yeah, mira, ya. Yeah. Cool así, así me tocaba a mí también, porque tenía que ir al Cerro Verde. Ah, <risa> el mismo día tenía que ir hasta allá después al, al litoral, a las, a las playas. Y, uy, y... Pero lo bueno es que se distrae uno, Ticho. Sí, sí, sí. Pero pero se aburre, al... se aburre pero, uno solo. Pero, pero al final del día, así como que ya solo quieren caer en la cama y dormir, en la cita. <ríe> complicated. No, sí, no. Complicated sometimes, ya. Yeah. That happens. Cool. Pero, pero ni modo. Ni modo. Así es. Part of the job. Así que ahí, de verdad, la disculpa, Ticho, porque qué pena, porque imagínate que yo voy a decir, este William se está pasando ahora. Va a decir. No, man, no problem, Ni no en problem, clase no. quiere estar, va a decir, no. Es pero... understandable, pero ya sabemos y menos, por qué. Menos, y menos mal que ha sido con usted que ha estado, porque va a decir, que raro, porque él no hace esto. Va. Imagínate que <risa> hubiera sido un teacher nuevo, hubiera dicho, no, este, este muchacho no quiere estar en clase. Dijera. Exactly, exactly. No, pero yeah. no, ya, ya sabemos el por qué, así que no problem with that, right? Cool. So you finished the short conversation, right? Finish. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Let's let's go to the main session because it's not almost time. Let's go to practice okay. and I want to listen to, to your classmates too. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So everybody's coming. I guess everybody finished. Let me see. These people, half of the people is participating and half of it is just as a listener. Teacher, puedo comenzar con Carlos antes que me vaya a enseñar la, la señal. Uh, <laughs> Voy a quedar medio something, otra vez. Before something happens. Okay, go, 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 William and Carlos. Let's go. Lo siento, Carlos, pero... <laughs> Vaya. Vaya. Empezamos, va. Eh, hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, William. I'm fine. Very good. Eh, Carlos, eh, would, you, would, you, would you mind working tomorrow night? Yes, of course. Thank you very much, Carlos. Va, esa es la primera, dicho. Right. La segunda William, empieza, Carlos. Uh, William, would you help me send the report tomorrow? Of course, Carlos. No problem. Okay, William. Thank you. You're welcome. La tercera. Nice. Hi, Carlos. I coming, please. Hello, William. How are you? Fine. Uh, I need you. I need you. Ay, teacher, ¿cómo se puede decir un favor? Esa palabra no olvido de decir. Uh, I need a favor. I need a favor, Carlos. Uh, could you my could you could you drive my car, please? Sure. William. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. All right. So that's all you got, right? That's all you got. Yeah. All right, perfect, yeah. perfect. Usted ha pedido un favor que nadie, nadie, nadie si está en oficio va a pedir. <laughs> nobody, nobody. Es que estoy cansado de manejar, tú. 
No, honey, we say, yeah, man, here is the car keys. Let's let's go. A lo que man, a lo que manejamos mucho, si decíamos eso, bastante trayecto. Es justamente los que no tienen ayuda. Yes. No, man, that's true. That's true. There you go. No, but that, that was okay. Thank you, Carlos and William. You did it excellent. Okay. Now, Michael, who were you practicing with? Con Emanuel, Xiomara, y Yaque. Jesus Christ, four of you. Sí. I yes. thought Jacqueline was as a listener. We create only one of you. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. I want to see what you got. Supongo que, esa conversation, supongo que esa conversation is huge, man. Super larga. <laughs> right, porque eran cuatro. Okay, yes. let's see. Let's go. Okay. Uh, good evening, people. Today, uh, we are working from home. So we are creating the, the plan for this week. And um, how are you people? Fine. Hey, Manuel, I need to ask you, would you mind okay. going to the meeting for me, please? Yes, of course, no problem. And Jacqueline, you have would you mind typing? Repeat the question, Emmanuel. Okay. Uh, would you mind typing the report, please, faster? Jacqueline? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> Así como que bueno, no hay de otra. Right? Let's do it. <laughs> no hay de otra. <laughs> okay. okay. Good. Continue. Continue. Bye, yo. You help me sell silver day cooking pork, please. Oh, you help me. Ah, okay. Nice. Um, Jacqueline, will, will you mind starting the meeting with the client? Yes, no problem. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, perfect. We will see you next tomorrow. Please be ready. Okay, that's it. There you go. Thank you, Michelle, Emanuel, Jacqueline, and Xiomara. Jesus Christ, four people. Uh, hey, hey, that was cool. That was cool. So poor Jacqueline, man. Va a tener que estar escribiendo y a la misma vez comenzando la reunión. <laughs> Esta Michelle. Ah, Michelle. Ay, no. Cool, man. La explota como jefe, Michelle. All right. No. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Thank you, everybody. Now, uh, Veronica. Let's go, Veronica. And okay. Wendy, right? What's that, Wendy? Turn yes. on the camera. I want to see you. Esta Wendy no se deja ver, man. Turn on the camera, Wendy. Aquí estoy. Ah, ahorita ya. voy. Que ando aquí. Me están llamando del trabajo mediación de noche, pero ahorita voy. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay. Yo creí que de hecho opinión. No, qué galán. <laughs> ok, ok, go, go. Bye, ok. Vamos, Verónica. ¿Qué fue, Verónica? <laughs> hey, what happened? Fue... Ay. Ay. Tengo internet muy malo. Ok, but, but we're listening yeah. to you. Read what you got. Okay. How are you, Wendy? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine too. Now that I see you, could you send this box for administration department? Yes, of course. Could you tell me, are you taking the box for? Who are you taking the, the bus for? 
for the secretary. And call you prepare the meeting for tomorrow. Right away. Uh, Veronica, the report does not work for me. Could you help me solve this problem? Okay, in a moment. Wendy, another thing. Would you mean helping me paint the office this weekend? No, I won't. Um, finish. Okay, cool. Hey, man. Uh, uh, look, <laughs> look, look at that, how efficient they are. Jesus Christ. Una se pide un favor, la otra igual, le dice que sí, y hace pum, favor de vuelta también. <laughs> that was, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, cool. Thank you, Veronica and Wendy. You did it excellent. <laughs> nice. Now, let me see who's going to be the next. Jorge, who were you working with? With Carlos Chavez. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Good evening, Jorge. Could you let me your pencil, please? Yes, of course. Boy. Yeah, boy. Uh -huh. Hi, Carlos. Could you send the report at my email? Sure, Jorge, of course. The, the... Oh, yo sigo, yo sigo. And I mean, yeah, like, yeah, so... y, y así como que, yeah. hey, do you finish or what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue. Jorge, Jorge, would you mind eat something with me? Yes, I like it. Uh, would you mind drinking with me? What? what? Okay. Perfect. Good idea, George. Nice, man. Nice. Yeah, pues ahí llévense a Carlos Mauricio. Man. Yeah. He, won't say, he won't say no. <laughs> right, right, Carlos? <laughs> yeah, man, he says, like, you see, he's laughing. Okay, cool. Uh, that's it? Could, could you go with me in the car? Yeah, right, Carlos. Dangerous idea, man. Dangerous idea. But hey, that's cool. Cool, man. So I guess you have already finished. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you for the video. I thought you were finishing. Okay, let's go. Hey, Carlos, could you eat dinner with me? Yes, I like it. Ah, okay, cool. That's all this. There you go, man. Cool, man. Good conversation about asking for favors. There you go. Thank you, Jorge Carlos. You did it excellent. Let me see. Okay, no problem. I'm just about to pass the attendance list. All right. It's going to be like, like, like everything. Okay. Cool. Listen up. Uh, just as a reminding, listen. Como recordatorio, please, people. Hay algunas personas que todavía no me han hecho el midterm. Recuerden que es nota evaluada, people. Right? Remember that. Eh, igual con lo de las homeworks. Hay algunos que no las han completado todavía. And it's really important for you to finish that. Recuerden que ya básicamente estamos in, eh, iniciando eh, la semana 3, unidad 3. So, con relación a la semana 2, ya necesito tener todo eso terminado. Uh, para que no salgan mal evaluados, por así decirlo. Right? Just, just, just for that, people. Please, help me out with that. Para los que no ha, Eso es Precisamente para los que no lo han terminado, okay? Now, let's say, I'm going to pass the attendance list. And that's that's going to be everything that we're going to be doing, okay? Let me see. Andres Joel. I think he went away. He's... Carlos Mauricio. Yes, okay, cool. Cindy Melanie. Cindy, okay, Cindy. Let's see, Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, nice. Ivania Yamilet. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move. Jacqueline Patricia. Present. Good, Jacqueline. I, I, I haven't had the, the 10 minutes feedback with you, right? 
No hemos tenido los 10 minutos de feedback con usted, ¿cierto? No. Ok, perfecto. Nos vamos a tener ahora, ¿ok? Ok. Perfecto. Joana Saraya, which is not here. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Nice, man. José Edgar. Oh, yeah, man, so present in here. Juan Emanuel. Present. Ok, very good. Julio César. Julio, I think got problems with the internet. Karen Beatriz. All right, so okay, eso fue. Uh, Carla Lisette. Present. Very good. Let's move. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Ah, okay, there you go. You're there. Veronica Arely. Ah, uh, Veronica, I think you got problems with the internet. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Gracias, guys. William, creo que tiene problemas todavía. Xiomar Elizabeth. Present. Okay, excellent. Carlos Josué. I am in present, present teacher, lo siento. Okay, cool, man. No problem. There you go. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here. All right, people. So, para los que todavía me deben la tarea, voy a estar esperándolos ahí. Okay, and... Uh, have a wonderful night, people. See you tomorrow, okay? In the last video conference of the week. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, everybody. Okay, very good, Jacqueline. So we're going to have these 10 minutes. Uh, you know, like, like a feedback. Give me a second. I don't think it's coming here. And yeah, man, what is what is she doing? Here? <laughs> I, I I think she she probably. Creo que todavía creo que estamos en clase. Veronica, the class is finished. <laughs> now, nah, man, give me one second. I'm gonna do something for her. There you go. <laughs> so these 10 minutes, these 10 minutes are going to be just as a reminder uh, for you if you have any questions with the, you know, like with the topics that we had in this class, in the previous class, right? Simplemente es para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a esta clase y clases anteriores. Right, si hay alguna duda, algo que todavía no esté del todo claro, que no haya quedado claro para usted, este es el momento para poder aclarar esas dudas. Bueno, yo he visto, no he estado mucho en clase, ¿no? pero siempre he visto los videos y he hecho las tareas. Ajá. Hay algunas que sí me he complicado, por ejemplo, en las de las preguntas que era de contestar de lo... All right, give me one second. Voy a, de hecho, voy a abrir la, la parte esa right now. So we can go. Como over. era en los, creo que en la parte del to me, de las cinco preguntas, mm -hmm. la parte dos está a una de las que se le pone. Sí, parte dos. Sí. En las últimas dos, las cuatro y las cinco. Que era lo de lealtad. Ajá. Y la otra era. Give me one second. Pero esa más de esa parte se me confunde más. ¿De qué tarea cómo... era? En la, en la de las cinco preguntas, la parte dos. Parte dos. Uh -huh. ¿Y ¿Usted me está hablando del midterm? Sí, ahí. Ah, sí. Igual ahí en la otra aparece también. Sí, estaba viéndolo. Ah, permítame. Parte 2 dice. Sí. En la 4 y la 5. Right, like in a moment. No me acuerdo de esto. So you can see part 1, part 2. Sí, ahí. Ok. 
La número dos dijo, ¿o cuál es? No, cuatro y cinco. Ahí, las cuatro y las cinco. Ah, if you are a leader, you show. Sí. ¿Qué sí, las contesté. Ajá. Pero me no, no había entendido muy bien cómo era eso. Ah, sí, simplemente lo quiero poner, mire. Estas palabritas. Sí, Loyalty, sí, eso le puse. Leadership. Sí. ¿Vale? sí, simplemente eso era lo que tenía que hacer ahí en esa parte. Eh, debo suponer que completó todo esto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, todo lo hice. Let me see. I, wanna, I want to recheck your progress. Jacqueline, right? Sí. Veamos, Jacqueline. Ah, sí, ma'am. Sí, sí, Susan. 100%. Sí, todo llevamos al 100. Sí, todo lo hizo, lo pidió. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. You have not been in, in classes all the time, right? Sí, solo he visto los videos, pero sí, en esa parte me compliqué. Me costó. Le pedí ayuda a Andrés también. No. Nah. Pero igual, porque la primera parte de la 3, pregunta 3, fue que comencé a ver ese problema. Uh -huh. Hey, Jacqueline, are you from, from Oriente? Sí. So you work almost together with... Uh... With, uh, Raquel y Joana. Exactly. Sí. Are you coworkers? Sí, somos... sí. Ah, son coworkers. Es que usted nunca le he visto. <risa> sí, pero sí somos de los mismos compañeros. Solo ah. ella y ahí Edgar. Ah, okay. Cool. Estábamos en otra, pero igual los, los metieron para la misma. Ah, uh, me das cool. Sí. Eh, está bien porque están, están, están trabajando y ayudando. Uh -huh. Sí, siempre solo con Andrés. Igual en la parte de la de tarea 7, me había complicado bastante, pero igual solo me corté de la parte que le poníamos el das y el tú. Ah, I mean, that's cool. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. Perfect, perfect. So you, you got it into it. So entonces, eh, los temas anteriores, como ha visto, dice los, los videos, entonces. Debo suponer que ha quedado todo claro, ¿cierto? Sí, ahora sí. Igual que está igual. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. So you sí, don't have any with this? Bien, entonces no tenemos ninguna pregunta que agregar eh, sobre mm, la clase de este día. No, solamente. Ok, cool, uh, Jacqueline. Uh -huh. I'm glad to hear that. Perfecto. Gracias. Entonces, perfecto, entonces eh, nos vemos mañana entonces en la otra videoconferencia, ¿ok? Ok. Perfecto. Good night. Good night. All right.